must have been back in 2016. No, 2015. Um, uh, Christmas. And what was going on at the time was I was living in Seattle. And uh, my family is from the east side of the mountains. Okay. Uh, over in uh, the Yakima area. And I had purchased the bus ticket. Uh, because I didn't have my car up here, uh, to go over to uh, Yakima. And I, I worked at Starbucks. I was a full-time student, and I couldn't get over there because it had snowed over the pass, wow. you know. And I had bought my ticket to the last possible day, which was uh, because they were only going to be running those buses on uh, on December 23rd, and then the next time they would be running them is uh, – uh, December 27th yeah. and uh, December 23rd came around um, we were snowed out and they're like hold up we might run a bus you know Christmas Eve you know to get over there um, Christmas Eve day and I was like oh okay but they're like you have to come here in the morning I'm like okay so I stay the night over there at the airport, over here at Steetech. The morning comes, the pass is still closed, and, um, oh, this was what was crazy. Um, we actually got on the bus on the 23rd, mm. um, and we rode it, and we got all the way to the top of the pass, and they turned us around. Oh, no. Oh, and, God. And because they closed the pass once we got there, so that was really terrible. So they took us back. And then they're like, it's okay, we'll run a bus on the 24th, the pass will be clean, and all of that, just come back here in the morning. So we come back here in the morning, the pass is still closed, and then they're like, sorry, and like, I stayed the night at the airport, and I'm like, sorry, guys, they're like, sorry, guys, um, I guess you all have to go home. So I'm like, yeah, all right. So like, I get back on the light rail, you know, I take it all the way back, you know, to downtown, uh. Seattle, you know, that was uh, like an hour and a half. Yeah, it's ride, about an hour and a half ride. Uh, yep. r- um, ride back. So I get back, um, I walk in, and then my business uh, manager, you know, at the time, or uh, my landlord at the time, and she's like, What are you doing back here? You know, I thought you were going down to, you know, the east side of the mountains uh, with your family. I'm like, Yeah, I just spent the night, you know, just gave her the whole spiel, you know, like we got to the top of that. Like, and then. And we're just, like, talking back and forth, you know. It's like, oh, dude, that's rough. I'm so sorry. And all of a sudden, I get a text, you know. And they're like, all right, you guys. You know, the text didn't say that. (laughs) (laughs) All right, you guys. This is what we're doing, right? Yeah, they're like, this is what's up. So for the first 40 people that show up, we're going to run a special bus. We're going to go down to Portland, you know, the long way around the Columbia, you know, get around this – um, what's it called? The pass. Uh, to get around the mountain pass. Yeah. You know, we're going to go down, r- drive along the Columbia so both River. both passes were closed? Yeah, White Pass and, and yeah, Snoqualmie. And the Snoqualmie. Yeah. So it's just like you had to go around. And I was just like, oh, my God. And <laughs> she's like, what? I'm like, if I get to the airport and it's like the first 40. But I'm like, I will never make it if I take the light rail. She's like, say no more. Get in my car right now. We're oh, taking wow. you. We're taking you to the airport so i get there i'm like thank you michelle so much and i'm just running right to get to the bus and guess what i'm number 39 nice and i get on the bus (laughs) i'm like oh thank god and it's just like sweet you know and at this time i had already called my parents i told my family that i'm not going to be making it you know to christmas i'm going to be over here in seattle and um, I wasn't going to be able to get the time off, you know, from work and all of that. They're like, oh, they were like pretty bum, you know. And we, my family was going to have a big get together, right? So everybody knew I wasn't going to make it. But little did they know I got on this bus. <laughs> <laughs> so here I am riding on the bus. Um, and we get to uh, Toppenish, you know. That's about like maybe 30 minutes outside of uh, Yakima. And my phone is at 1%. Oh, no. And I'm like, well, there's only one way for me to get back. I have to call a friend. And I have to make this one phone call count. Yeah. (laughs) So I call my um, best friend, Eric. um, uh, I'm like, hey, Eric. It's just like, I don't really have a lot of time. Um, I'm like, are you busy? He's like, 
No, I'm like, are you going to be busy in the next half hour? No, I'm like, well, I'm riding in from, uh, you know, from Seattle right now on the bus. My phone's at one percent. Can you pick me up at the airport? <laughs> and, <laughs> and he's like, I was like, I was like, can you be there? He's like, yeah, I'll be there. And then, boom, phone dies right then and there. And, uh, it's like the payphone thing, right? You only yeah. got like thirty seconds. <laughs> only got thirty seconds. Boom, my phone dies. Yeah. And I show up here at the airport. And I'm like, God, I hope you heard that last part. You know, I'm hoping that transmission went through. And it did. And he was waiting right there. You know, I nice. got off the bus. And I'm like, dude, Eric, I owe you such a big sauce. What a great friend. I, I love that kid uh, to death. He's the same age, but he's a kid to me. <laughs> um, Sometimes uh, they all are. <laughs> they, they, everybody, everybody's a kid to me. And um, he takes me back. Um, like my parents and this is perfect timing because they were all at church right you know so I'm like so it's just like Eric drops me off you know I get like a cup of cocoa you know just like kicking it by you know like my parents fireplace you know and like I'm playing some they had some Christmas music but I turned it up just a little bit you know <laughs> and uh, they walk in you know like my brother you know like my mom and dad and I'm like oh what took you so long <laughs> 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 they're like Greg. So so like, they're like Greg. And they're like what? It's like we thought we were gonna be here. Yeah, you the thought. Why? And, like, and they're like, how did you get here? It's like, oh, dude, I I kicked to the Santa for a quick second. He dropped me off. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me a ride here. You know, he was like shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yeah, pink game homies. He was just like, hey, can you give me a ride? He's like, yeah, no problem. Yeah, it was right. like, so it, it was great. And then what I had also done as well, too, I'm like, dude, this is like the perfect opportunity. No one knows I'm back. So it's just like everybody just go over, you know, be like mingling. And then I'm going to knock on the door. Then I'm going to show up. And they're like, oh, dude, that's great. You know, so it's just like everybody's over. You know, they're having a grand old time. You know, it's just like, oh, wait, you know, 20, 30 minutes. You know, build the suspense. You know, everybody's at the party now. You know, yeah. Enjoy. And then I'm knocking on the door. They're like, who's knocking? You know? <laughs> and I'm like, what's up? What's up? <laughs> and then they're great. just like, what's up? And I'm like, we thought you were stuck. It's like, how did you get over here? And it's just like, caught a ride with Santa, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic. Like, you're just, like, showing up and, like, surprising your family and, and, oh, yeah. and shit like that. That's, that's pretty, like, that. I think that's pretty cool, you know? But we also, we got to give the shout out to the true MVPs of this story. Um, we got to shout out to Michelle, who was like, oh, fuck, we got to get you to that bus, you yeah. know. Drove me from downtown Seattle back to SeaTac. You know, I was just like, get in the car. We're going. She was hauling. She, was, she wasn't, like, driving. She's like, we she got. She wasn't kidding around. She wasn't kidding around. So we got it. Like, she drove me to the airport. But, like, massive big shout out to Michelle. Then, you know, massive shout out to Bel Air. Um, I think they're called shuttles. They do it around the Yakima area for taking the time to readjust. And they're like, you know what? You know, screw it. We're going to make this happen. Right. 